Previously on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. I think we should look for your parents. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. She's my family now. She's all I got. Hell. In the end, family's all that matters. You're right. I owe her. Somehow, I gotta make it right. <laughs> Clementine! Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Clementine, are, are you alright? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Holy! Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Please, don't hurt her! Hurt her? I'm not the one who hurts people. There's an ocean of dead between you and me and her, and if I can thank God for anything anymore, it's that. Just told all Clementine. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? Fine. Don't worry about it. It wasn't a full chomp. No, it wasn't. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Nothing through here. Damn. I was kind of hoping they dug some secret tunnels or something. Hey, don't worry. We'll find Clementine. Damn right we will. To do that, you gotta get us another way out. You okay, Lee? Yeah, we just have to get the hell out of here. Any trouble? There's thousands of dead filling the sewers, and God only knows how many up top, so, you know. Don't worry about this door right now. We got it. You find a way out yet? I'm working on it. Good. Hurry. We're lucky there's no axe holding that door closed, huh? Oh, shut up. How sturdy is that door? I don't know. I don't want to be around for its breaking point. Found a way out yet? Look it. This is no going back the way we came. No shit. There's no going back at all if you don't find another way out of here. We've got this. You keep looking. You gonna be able to hold him back if that door pops? No promises. Can't those things let up for a fucking minute? Just keep looking for another way out. I got this.
think it's some sort of spreading device. Grosses me out just looking at it. Looks like a carjack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. Just some surgical supplies. This isn't gonna help. Hey, I think I found a way out. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. He's still bitten. So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Do we have to cut it off, though? Do we know it works? We don't know anything. Is there gonna be a lot of blood? There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Damn right. Let's do this. If there's a chance it stops you from turning, we have to take it. Jesus, what are you guys talking about? We thought maybe with your bite. If we removed it, you might live. I know it's drastic. You think? But what if it works? It might be the only way. What do you think? Fuck it. Cut it off. Seriously? Yeah. <sighs> Don't get too high, okay? Just get through the thinnest part you think is best. It was easier when I thought he was out. Oh, Jesus. Fine. I'll go as fast as I can. You got- <laughs> ah! Try to stay still! <laughs> the fuck? Gotta tighten the tourniquet. <laughs> Just hold on! Maybe we lost you. You've been out a while, man. My arm's on fire. I can still feel my fingers. Holy hell. Oh, this hurts more than you could believe. Do you think you'll be able to travel? You lost some blood. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. 
I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on anyone. Jeez. Oh, We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. You think it's possible for you? Yeah. Get going. Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. Did they follow us here? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Well, what do we do now? We need to get off this roof as fast as we can. It's not safe down there. We can't just walk through the streets. You planning on growing some wings? It's taking an immense amount of willpower to not make a crack about that suggestion, coming from the one-armed man. That joke will be funnier once we know if this worked. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. Not going back in there. Some poor bastard took a spill. Yeah, looks like whoever was up here painting that sign went ass over tea kettle. It's an extension ladder. Hospital must have run out of doctors. See anything? There's a fire escape here, and that's about it. You still want to die? I'm more afraid of getting someone else killed. When it all comes down to it, if it's just you and Clementine for some reason, I think you'll have plenty of reason to want to live. Don't talk like that. The way things have been going, I don't have any choice, Ben. If we get over to that bell tower, we might have some impact on all those walkers out there. But then we just run through the streets? I, I don't know. What do you think? I think I'm staring down at my worst nightmare. Just a dusty haze of death. Try to keep your shit together. We need to get off this roof. You came with me. You didn't think I would? It's like you said, Clementine has been my biggest, well, only real fan. I'd be a big piece of crap if I didn't. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. 
did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. Here's a way down. Yeah, if half the dead population of Georgia wouldn't wander in the streets down there. See anything? Nah, I'm just, uh... I was taking a minute, actually. Sorry, I, I know I shouldn't. What's going on? That's just... everything. Fuck, man. <laughs> you know. I do. I can't thank you enough for what you did for Duck. I don't know how I'd be if you hadn't. Don't dwell on it. I look at where we are, right now. And I can't imagine Cat and Duck in all this mess. Kid. No. No, I I'm sorry. We're in a fucking hurry to get off this roof. It's, it's not the time. I'm sorry. I'm okay. There's a bell tower over there. We know what those do. Yeah. Could be part of how we get through the streets. Yeah. How many you think are wandering around underneath us right now? In the hospital? Thousands. I mean, who knows? It was full of dead before, right? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. And out there? Look at that dust. Fuck, man, who knows? Any thoughts about anything else? Nah, I'm all right. Just needed to take a second. I'll keep an eye out over here. Sorry. That looks like Crawford Square over there. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. I might have a way to clear us a path. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. Anything over here? Honestly, my vision isn't great. I think it's allergies or all that shit those walkers are kicking up. Allergies. Shit. People used to get those. I know, right? You never see anybody in an end-of-the-world story with hay fever. It's not the time to get wistful. I know. It's this deal with Clem. It's everything. It's put this rage inside me like I can't even say. I used to get allergies too, and just... Fuck. Who was that guy? Someone with priorities? Got any good ideas for getting through that, uh, herd? I'm working on it. Are you gonna be able to hang in there? I have to. The mansion's that way. Yeah. If we can use that bell tower to bring them to that side of the hospital, it won't be an easy trip back toward River Street. But it wouldn't be impossible. I'm with you. Just have to get over there. I was thinking you and Omid wouldn't come with me. We can't stop looking out for each other. You two have been solid since day one. What's this? Day three? Four? Well, I appreciate it. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm. Yeah. That could help. With the Bell Tower on this side of the hospital, and the mansion over there... Uh, that might be our way off this rooftop. I can make it to that Bell Tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. Hey. I think you're Clem's favorite, you know that? Really? Yeah, she's a big fan. You get away with shit I never would. We're getting her back, Lee. You know that, right? Yeah. When we get this fucker, we'll get out of sight and leave you with him. You get me? I get you. 
I'll see if we can make it out to that bell tower. Okay. Be careful, though. I don't want you going any sooner than you have to. Thanks. How's the leg? It's doing a lot better. Thanks for going into Crawford for me. Even if it wasn't entirely for me. Clementine, too. She's tough as hell. Isn't she? Yeah. Don't worry more than you should about her, okay? It's a bell tower. Like the ones Molly used to draw the walkers around the city. Whoa, you need some help with that? I got it. Damn it. Oh, shit. The bells. Yeah, could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. I'll do it. Yeah, Ben will do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Why the hell are we letting the one-armed guy do all the high-risk maneuvers? Because the one-armed guy insists. Now shut up about it. That thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time? Yep. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No shit! Try to find another way out of there? It's locked. Shit. The exit in here's locked! A few solid rings of this, and there'll be thousands down below. They're coming this way! Tons of them! Jesus! Now get back here! I think I have to jump! There's no way back! You can make it! It ain't that far! You got this! You got this, motherfucker! Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof. Holy. What the fuck? 
Come on. Just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck. How could this happen? It's a guy on the radio, the one that's got Clem. They're gone. Holy shit. They're gone. Relax. Hey, guys. No. It wasn't the guy on the radio. It was Vernon. No fucking way! The invalids? Their actions, uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their Make-A-Wish was a fucking boat ride! When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out! We would have done the same. Says the guy who wouldn't take a box of food from an abandoned car. Things have changed. He says he feels bad about it. Leaving us and Clementine behind. They fucked us! Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Yeah, chill out, Kenny. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? Find a small town. Maybe one that hasn't been ripped up too bad. At some point, people are gonna have to start rebuilding. And you guys and Clem should be part of that. I don't know. Gotta have hope. We all do. Even you. Quit talking like you're already dead. Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill. Not just you. Chill? Lee's bitten and God knows how long he has left. Clementine is who the fuck knows, and we're robbed of the only hope we've had. So? So Lee should have left your ass in Crawford. We got enough problems. Fuck you, Kenny! Whoa, Ben! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katya and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead! No! You know how they die. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse, and I don't know. So give me a fucking break. Oh, Ben, I'm... Oh shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista! Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny! Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. That's what I was thinking. Ben! Go upstairs! And do what? Just go! Omid! What is it? Everyone, help Omid now! <laughs> Lee, help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Off. 
Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty my ass! Get upstairs! Go! Guys, help me with this! Everyone get to the end of the hallway. What do we do now? This will slow him down. We get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stand. We can't let ourselves get trapped. Let's get as many as we can. And when we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. Two. Y'all know where to aim. Get ready. I'm out! Me too! Fuck! Where do we go? No goddamn opening! Up! Go! Here, um, I'm not good with these. You dropped it down there. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third, Industrial... Need? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Hey, you're not looking great, and you're warm. I'm okay. Don't. I'm okay. I'm wearing pants. No. What did that mean? She's at the hotel where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Stop it! We can't panic! Do you think that worked? I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. Okay, what do you want to do? Just talk about it. Does that conversation end with me getting something dropped on my head? Now, hey! Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, 
But who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. You're not touching me. Do you understand that? You know exactly what to do if I turn and that's enough. Do you hear me? You might become one of them! You understand that? How can you be fucking calm about that? You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not lifers on Alcatraz here. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I'm sorry. Me too. I get it. Go sit down. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well... We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. If you were me, you'd be a foot taller. Hey! And about 50 pounds heavier. You, uh, wouldn't get scared as much. With your arm and my leg, I'll cripple fight you right here, buddy. Oh, I still got this one. I can put my right palm on your forehead and just let you swing away. <laughs> Fine. You win, jerk. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone, too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We just get another time, that's the focus. Despite how I feel, I, I can't let vengeance be the thing. Sure, but if it's not that easy... We'll do whatever it takes. And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off! What good is it to plan around that work? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. I want Kenny to look after her. Stop it. Do you hear me? Are you sure, man? You didn't see him with his family. What did he do to protect them? We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? We gotta support him. He's only a kid still. It's easy to forget that. He loses shit like that often? No. That was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. Kenny's been horrible to her. He blames Ben for his family's death, and it's just more complicated than that. Well, seems like it got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that, uh, feeling any better? Still feels pretty recently chopped. So, no, Kenny feels about as, uh, good as you'd expect. I mean, 
Do you think it worked? Did it did it help at all? I feel like a man who got bitten. So take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. Lee's family's gone too. It'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. Maybe take it easy on him from here on out. I'm angry as hell. Not at him. Maybe. Maybe not. You heard him outside. I did. I never really thought about it that way. <laughs> this guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. I'm sorry for hurting you in any way, Kay. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. But sometimes I... I can't help but wonder if I could have caused all that. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... It's what Katya did. You did everything you could. No, Lee. She left me. My son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it, because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. The streets are full. Hundreds of them. We're not going out this window. House is full, too. Stay quiet. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. 
Judging by the decor of this room, I'd guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. Just saying. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. You still with us, Bill? Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. What do you call this thing? Art? It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. Might be the way out. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? Kenny and I can handle this. Dude, let me help you. You're already hurt. Even more reason we all don't need to risk it. You worry about her. And if all this goes bad, you might be Clementine's last hope. We'll keep an eye out. Ow! Um, I'm okay! I'm okay! Just get me out of here! I just slid- Ow! <sighs> How the fuck did this happen? Are you okay? What the fuck happened, Ben? I'm sorry. Just get me up. My legs hurt, I think. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you... Fucking hell. What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. We can get you up. We can, uh... Ow! If he'd be quiet, then maybe. But Kenny, this is fucking serious. He could die just by moving him wrong. I won't move! Ben! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> oh god, don't let them get to me! Do you have any bullets left? This has only got one left in it. I'm out. Shit. Get the fuck out of here. What? Go back. She needs you, Lee. Kenny! This is not a discussion! Hell no, man! I'm not leaving! What did I just say? Let's get Ben and get out of here!
What the fuck, Kitty? Lee, Lee, it's okay. Katja wouldn't want this. Damn it, Ken! Yeah, she would. I either save the kid or I get to see her. Either way. Now get back up there. Go get that girl. Back, you sons of bitches! Damn it, Kenny! Yeah! God damn it! Oh, fuck! Kenny, please! What happened? I heard a shot. Kenny made sure that Ben didn't feel any more pain than he had to. What? It was Ben's biggest fear, you know. Kenny had one bullet and that's how he used it. God, poor fucking kid. You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. He did what he had to. All the way to the end. We should go. Right behind you. Do you want to talk? That's two on him. Motherfuckers got Clementine has been and Kenny to answer for. Keep a clear head, Lee. We wouldn't be out here. We'd all been together to defend against Vernon. We would be out on the water. Everyone would be alive. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Clementine, I know Kenny was your guy. Yeah? Well... You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. Good. Thanks. Whatever your best is, I'll trust it. That's all you can do. River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. They never know where their next meal is. Be careful through here. Yeah, we don't need any more accidents. 
I'm sorry. It's okay. The house hotel is around the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hot. The decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Can you help me? I don't know what we can do from here. Anything! It's fucked, Lee! I'll figure something out! There's not a ton of options! Fuck it. I'm going for it! Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Let's meet outside of town, by the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train. Jesus, we'll be there.
got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you, she's fine. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I hurt her a long time ago. How? In a lot of ways. She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want. So we fought, and it made my biggest fear come true. Got sick one day on my way to class, canceled it and went home. Found her there with someone else. Killed him. I was mad at her for so long, and I... Can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap his stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them. 
a day later, in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. I was trying to find someplace safe for her. You let a boy get yanked out of a window and into the night so you could protect a pretty girl with a gun. It was impossible to save him, to save them both. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Look, I was bitten. You were what? Yeah. I probably don't have a whole lot of time. Wow. Okay, then. I'm sorry again for your family. Me too. I'm glad this didn't have to get violent. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Your arm's gone. 
Why? That's so scary. I had an accident. We'll talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clem, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. afraid. I was. You didn't act like it. I know. I am now. It's okay. way out through there Jesus Don't look in there No I know Which way out through there Savannah. They smell horrible, which means you have to, too. Yuck. Okay. Get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. There. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. And walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm-hmm. I'll keep you safe.
Lee, wake up. Please don't be dead. Please, no. Lee, I, I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I, I saw my parents. It's a good thing. Lee, they're dead. They really are. Don't you know, you're gonna be sad for a very long time. But you know what happened to them. When we get you somewhere safe, then just let it all out. Okay. Okay. Clementine, we have to get out of here as fast as we can. Well, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't! Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One. Two. Three! <laughs> <sighs> you do that? Because I was bitten, Clem. Please, no. No. Th that's not true. Yes, it is. <sighs> I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know. Hotel. Yeah. Keep going. We're almost there. <laughs> Get up, Lee. The door is right here. I can't. You have to. Them, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please try to get up. I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. Like what? You need to get out of here as soon as you can. I... I can't leave you! Just work on getting out, okay? We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. We'll get you in there. Don't worry. We're doing good. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. There's a chair over there. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. 
use the bat to shatter that window, so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He is it. You're smarter than all of them. And don't be scared of the walker. You'll be fine. Grab the chair clip. Use it to reach in to the lock. Open it. He's, he's trapped. This will be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you'll need. You're doing really good. There are handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Okay, Lee. Killing them's not easy, but you know what to do. I do. Put the handcuffs on me. Attach me to this. But what? Why? No matter what happens, you're safe then. Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make sure they're tight. I don't... I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. Only have to deal with him. He's trapped over there. If you're careful, you can get what you need from him. The keys. And then the gun. Keys and the gun. Just don't be afraid. If anything gets dangerous, you're faster than he is. What should I get first? Keys, in case you have to make a run for it. Grab it! Clem, no! Run, Clem! Get him! Watch out! Kill it! You have to kill it! The bat, Clem! Get the bat! You're strong, Clem. You... You can do anything. But I'm little. Doesn't mean nothing. You go see bad stuff, but... It's okay. My parents... It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now... You... Please... Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. It's okay. 
It's okay, Clem. I was standing over Duck holding that gun. It was so hard. I'm sorry you're in that position now. I'd give anything for you not to be. But you just have to point it at me. Close your eyes and be thankful you never have to see me as one of them. You can do it. I know you can. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I... I can! Find Omid and Krista. They're outside of town. By the train. You remember how to get back there? <laughs> yes. Good. They'll take good care of you. <laughs> and Clem. <laughs> And always keep moving. You're gonna want to find some place like the motor in, but that's just not safe. Why not? Those places are just targets. Move as much as you can. And also... What? What is it? Don't be afraid. <laughs>